Welcome to the On Home and Office podcast series, featuring technology tips from expert authors in home and office computing. Part of the On Podcast Network at InformIT.com. For great deals on Mr. Excel's books and videos, visit InformIT.com forward slash Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, welcome back to the On Home and Office podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Well, you know, when you think about Excel, it's formulas. Formulas are the strong suit of Excel. It's why it became such a popular program. I want to talk about uh, three different ways of entering formulas today and also a really arcane bit of, of formula magic that really is essential for you to know. So we have a data set here and I want to add a gross profit calculation. And so gross profit is profit in H2 divided by revenue in F2 and there's three different ways to enter this formula. Some of you, if you're just really good at typing, you're going to grab the keyboard and type equal H2 divided by F2 and press enter. That's six keystrokes and you're done. And then there's the people who are the younger generation, the people who basically were born with a mouse in their hands. Those people don't use the keyboard hardly at all. They might type the equal sign and then they grab the mouse and click on profit. And then they press the divide sign on the keyboard and grab the mouse and click on revenue again. This is how I think about half of the people enter formulas. And then there's another way, a way that goes back to the days of Lotus 1, 2, 3, back when, frankly, we didn't have a mouse. And if you find people who were in accounting back in the 80s, a lot of times they're using this method. And I like this method, it's fast. We type the equal sign and now just press the left arrow key. And that highlights profit for us and we can type divide and then press the left arrow key three times to get over to revenue. That's what I call the Lotus arrow key method. Now, whichever method you use is fine. They're all exactly equivalent. Um, but if you're new to Excel, take a look at that Lotus arrow key method and you'll be able to create spreadsheets faster than everyone else in the office. Now, when we look at these formulas, let's take a quick look here. We started out with H2 divided by F2. I copied the formula down and it changes the formula. H2 changes to H6, F2 changes to F6. That's the miracle of spreadsheets. Enter a formula once and it gets copied down the whole way. But let's do something different. Let's set up a tax rate up here. And I'm gonna enter 6.5% as the sales tax rate. And we're gonna calculate sales tax. So this formula is equal F2 times M1. And it works 1482.65, but I'm gonna copy that formula down. Oh, nothing. We're getting zeros everywhere. Let's go take a look and see what happened. And when we edit this formula, the F2 changed to F6. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. But the M1, the sales tax rate, it always needed to point to M1. I didn't want it to move. So what do we have to do is we're entering this formula right here, right at this point, there's one key that I can hit that will teach Excel that that M1 should always point to M1. Well, I know some of you are saying you have to put the dollar signs in, but the fast way to put the dollar signs in, press the F4 key. Pressing F4 says dollar sign M dollar sign one. That's the code for no matter how we copy this formula, we're always gonna point at M, we're always gonna point at one. I'll note here that as you press F4, it toggles between four states. M dollar sign one freezes only the row, and then the next press of M4 freezes only the column, and then freezes nothing. But the one that we want is the first one with the two dollar signs. Copy that down and now our formulas work because the F2 is allowed to change to F7 in this case, but the M1 always points at M1. This is called an absolute reference. I don't know how we were supposed to learn this. It's one of the most powerful features as you're creating formulas. That way you don't have to copy the tax rate down to all of the rows. Well, there you have it. Three different ways of entering formulas in Excel and a fairly arcane trick called the absolute reference. Thanks for watching the On Home and Office podcast. For more episodes, check us out in iTunes or at informit.com forward slash On Home and Office. Stay tuned for a word from Q Publishing. Q Publishing creates user-friendly technology guides on home and office technologies. Whether you're looking for beginner or advanced information on hardware, software, and gadgets, Q has the solutions you need to learn more fast.
We publish a wide array of series to meet your learning needs, including the Business Solution Series, which focuses on everyday business programs, such as Excel and Access. The Easy Series is geared toward the visual learner looking for step-by-step -step instructions. The Live Lesson Series are video training DVDs, which feature hours of personal instruction with an expert trainer. The On Demand series cuts straight through the clutter, providing concise and graphically rich guides. The Special Edition Using series features instruction from industry-recognized experts on topics such as Office, Photoshop, Windows, and Mac OS. Check out all our series today at informit.com forward slash Q.